Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another very exciting evening. I'm super excited. I finally got my Convexo canvas in the 30 inch round, which I actually got once before, but a forklift had poked a hole through them. So they finally come. <laughs> I'm very, very excited to play with this. And on top of that, I was watching Molly's artistry the other day and I saw her do this rainbow starburst pour that was just, it was mind blowing. It was so beautiful and there was one a day before that that was a blue and like light blue one it was so pretty this starburst effect that she was doing with the hair dryer so she called it an air swipe it was really really beautiful and i was just mesmerized i've watched it probably 10 times so i will link that video up here for you guys so you guys can check it out also and check out molly's artistry on youtube she's amazing so that's what we're going to be playing with tonight but of course i'm going to change it a little bit and instead of using a blow dryer we are breaking out our little Makita <laughs> leaf blower again to do our gardener's pour. Now this is the one HOA has put a paper clip around the nozzle to flatten it out a little bit. And uh, I haven't actually played with this since I broke my leg. That was the night I broke my leg was with this thing. So we're going to play with that and have some fun. And uh, this is going to be awesome. So let me show you my colors. Okay, so the other thing that's very, very exciting and different for me and was really challenging was what I mixed my paint with. I watched Molly's how to mix her paint video to see how she had her consistency and it's paint and water. No pouring medium, no Liquitex gloss medium, which of course those of you know that know me probably know that that freaked me out a lot. Also the consistency is much thinner than I'm used to dealing with. So I'll show you what this is. And I, I couldn't really just not put anything in there. So I did add some GAC 800. So this is mostly paint and water and just a little bit of GAC 800. And you see my consistency is very thin, sinking right away, just barely leaving a tiny mound, and then it's gone, and it's just gone. So all of them are like that. That's why there's not that much of some of them. <laughs> but I do have a plan in mind and how I wanna do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, some of these are kind of full, and I don't want a lot of that color, so I'm gonna pour it into a smaller cup that I can pinch the tip and use it as a nozzle to control how much comes out. So, in the very, very center of this, I think I'm, oh, yeah, so that's the Convexo from Fredericks. I believe I got these at Jerry's Artorama. So, can you see that? Okay. All right, and that's a 30 inch round. So I'm not actually going to put down a base coat because Molly did not. I am just going to pour my paint directly in rings and leave some space in between them and then see how it goes. So this is going to be pretty exciting. Uh, I'll show you the colors now. The first color we have tonight started out as Golden's Nickel Azo Gold, but then I wanted more of it and I didn't want to use up everything that I had in my can. So I added some Sargent's Copper. To this and it, it's just beautiful and that reminded me when Lee and Jeremy were here and we did the base coat on Jeremy's corners we made more flow extender we added some copper to that nickel as a gold and it was just amazing so that's what this is is copper and nickel as a gold and this is my deco art Americana decor metallics 24 karat you see that is not leaving a mound very very sinking very thin very thin <laughs> This one is Amsterdam Blue Green, which I really like this color. It's just, it's very, very pretty to me and it makes me happy in a lot of ways. So, and it's very, very cool stuff. This one is Golden's Green Gold. That always looks funky, like moss or something in the cup, but then when it's next to a turquoise and a gold, it does beautiful things. This one is Golden's Payne's Gray, which this one took, so when I was mixing this stuff, <laughs> It was so different than I usually do it because just having, first of all, it's a lot more paint because you're not using the pouring medium or any Floetrol, so it's just paint and water. So it actually took a lot more paint than I'm used to using to get this volume, not necessarily the color, but to get that volume because you're mixing it with water. So this one, and I was like, I didn't want to add too much water and break it and have to add more paint, so I was just adding the water very, very slowly and it, it took a long time, <laughs> it did. So it was a very different experience for me to mix the paint to this thin consistency. And uh, 
if this is how it's supposed to be for that type of Dutch pour with the air swipe action, then I can see why I was having a bit of trouble before because my paint had pouring medium and was a lot thicker. This one is Amsterdam Bronze, which I really like. And I was worried about this, but I think there's enough contrast in between them that it's going to be perfect. And then this last one is sort of a hodgepodge. <laughs> Amsterdam White with um, Sergeant's Pearlescent Medium in there and then I wanted more so I added some Blick, um, Blickrylic White to this as well and that's all mixed with water and just a tiny bit of GAC so each of these has water and then there's literally like a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of GAC in each of them all mixed up okay so first thing we're gonna do I want the center to be some of this coppery color so where's the middle right about there would you say darling yeah? yes yes okay so we're going to just pour a little puddle of this right in the center. Not very, very big. Okay, that's such a gorgeous color. Okay, and I'm going to pour a little bit of gold around it, but I don't want to put too much. So I'm pouring some in a cup. And I'm going to squeeze that. I'm going to just go around this. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of... No, I don't think I'm going to leave space on this one. Okay, that's actually more than I wanted, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, next... We're going to put in some turquoise, and again, I'm going to pour that into a cup so I don't screw it up. Okay, here we go. I'm going to leave a little bit of room. Is Zen out here? Hi, baby. You want to say hi? No, it's okay. I'm so happy to see you. Okay, so there's our blue-green, Amsterdam blue-green. Now we're going to put some of our green gold on there. Golden's green gold. And I'm going to leave some space. I feel like it's leading this way already. Alright, now we're going to put a little, little white. Amsterdam bronze now. Okay, that's good. And we're gonna do, let's see, let's put another layer of gold on there. I think I want a little bit of gold in here too. Turquoise. I think I'm going to turn this around. Just a little bit and go this way now. Wow, those colors are so pretty together. Okay, we're going to put another layer of this on here now, the blue green. And then we're going to put some. Whoops. Okay, just a little bit of white. but not least we're going to put some of that Payne's Gray. Okay. I'm excited about this. Alright. So now I think I want to add a little bit more of this coppery color. Maybe just a very small thin line through here and then maybe some in here in between the gold and the turquoise okay all right I'm gonna move these over 
pretty sure we have enough paint on there. So, actually, the only thing that I do want to do is put a little bit of paint on the sides. So I'm going to pour some of this Payne's Gray, like very on the edge, kind of, so it's rolling over there already. first and move it into the middle. Let's do it. So now when Molly was doing it, she did one nice pass and didn't go over it a bunch of times. So that's what we're gonna do. Are you ready, darling? Here we go. See what you were saying about the lazy Susan. <laughs> but that's looking really cool. I think I'm gonna go off this way. Oh, that's really pretty in there. Really cool. Oh, this is awesome, Molly. Thank you so much for the inspiration for this. This is just, it's so much fun, too. Okay, here we go. I'm getting the hang of it now. <laughs> Man, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Doesn't seem like there's too much in the center. I like it. There's some beautiful lacing happening in here and in here. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't blow it too hard right there. This is really cool. This, the blue with that green gold and the copper and the gold right there. Mm, yummy. 
making bolt spots. Okay. This is cool. I don't want to do anything else to it because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I'm going to torch it though. awesome I like it I'm happy with it what do you think hey joy that's awesome okay yeah this is really cool like some of this in here is really beautiful and I love that copper lacing on top of the gold there it's just really pretty I love this little bit of white that's coming in that's awesome I'm gonna wipe my hands so I don't drip <clears throat> very cool thank you again to Molly's artistry I will link her video for you guys. Go check her out for sure. She's awesome. And this was a lot of fun. So it's very cool. I will show you guys when it's dry. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys. <laughs> so this is a couple of days later and this piece has dried now. And I am just, I love some of these details in here. This turned out so cool show you we're getting close first of all I love these edges this is just see how close we can get and still stay in focus some of the selling and this lacing here along this edge is just amazingly beautiful and I am so happy with how it turned out like especially right up here where you see that blue green from Amsterdam and it's lightened up a little bit with the white and the gold and it's also darker because it's on top of the Payne's gray. That is so pretty to me. I love that part. And all this really delicate lacing within the gold. And I guess that's where the bronze and the gold kind of blended. Because I see the copper individually. And I know that that's gold that I put around the center. Therefore, that must also be gold around the edge, but I thought it was the, the bronze. So I think the bronze and the copper mixed a lot in this one, but that's okay. But again, this edge is just so beautiful in here on top of the Payne's Gray where it just flew over. And then we see all this copper in here, which is just magnificently beautiful against that Payne's Gray. It's so pretty. And again, the white. If we can get closer and show you some of this lacing in here. It's so beautiful to me. Like right here. Oh my gosh. And this part, like think of right that little edge right there with the green gold. That's probably my favorite part right in here. Beautiful, beautiful lacing with that blue green from Amsterdam on top of the green gold with the gold and the copper in there. Really, really cool. this was a lot of fun thank you again so much to molly from molly's artistry for her starburst or <laughs> her air swipe which was awesome and of course i have you know a hundred ideas going through my head of how i want to play with this and what i want to do with it and composition and changing up the composition of course this one is on a round canvas this would look very a little different on a square canvas so but I got a lot of ideas going. <laughs> Things I want to play with with this technique, which was so much fun too. And I think having the paint just mixed with water made such a difference for me in terms of how it moved easily with the leaf blower. So it was really, really fun. Very, very cool experiment. I enjoyed this a lot. So <laughs> I'm gonna call this one Reckless Abandon. <laughs> it's not wrecked. <laughs> And I abandoned any ideas I had of how paint was supposed to be mixed, at least for this air swipey sort of Dutch technique. So this was awesome. I had a lot of fun with this one. This is Reckless Abandon. And again, huge thank you to Molly. And uh, thanks so much for being with us, you guys. This one is a 30 inch round on a convexo canvas. So that was awesome. So this was cool. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. I will see you for the next one. 
Oh, Sunday, Sunday, January 17th, our great switcheroo collab. I will give you guys more information about times and everything, but that's going to be awesome with Canella and Erica and Tammy, and Sarah and myself. So we will see you guys on Sunday. Have a great day.